Hello guys, today I will be reviewing the original Xbox and the accessories I have for it. I just got this a couple days ago and all I gotta say is I forgot to mention it in the top 10 favorite, my top 10 favorite consoles video. Uh, this would be, oh sorry, tripod kind of fell, oh god, this would have been between number five and number four, I'm not telling you what councils those are. It would have been like between number five and number four. So here's the system itself. I get this sucker. Oh, it's very big and heavy. Oh man, just the camera. Okay. As you can see, it there's an X up here. There's a big X. Then it says. Xbox right there, and then you got your uh, open button. Right, let me turn it. It's TV turning on, and then you have your power button, and you have four controller ports right here, so you did not need to buy a multi-tap. And the disk drive just comes out like any ordinary disk drive, and it has Doom 3 in it right now. So. And it has its own dashboard. Turn it back on. Here's a dashboard for it. It's got its own little dashboard type thing. Xbox. Awesomeness. Give it some time to load. It says Microsoft down there. And yeah, it's Doom loading. Uh, I'll show you the games I have for it. You already know I have Doom, obviously. Well, here's why. Well, obviously, I have Doom Three, which is awesome. Get out of there. Uh, I have this for GameCube also. Godzilla: Destroy All Monsters Melee. I liked it so much I bought it for the Xbox too. Uh, then I have NCAA Football 2003, and then I have, why wouldn't I have this, Halo, the first Halo, which is awesome. And then I have two controllers, one wired, one wireless, I prefer the wired one. Uh, as you can see, it has the Xbox logo, a select, a start button, an awesome D-pad, a left analog stick, a right analog stick. Um, a black button and a white, a black button and a white button, A, B, X, Y, it's really similar to the 360, but replace the, uh, two bumpers with the black and white button. And then up here, you have your two memory card slots you can put, uh, L and R, these triggers are freaking awesome. They just feel so good on your finger, because they're, like, curved up. You can see that, they're curved up. I really feel good on your finger. So, and then the wireless one, that's an Xbox brand controller, Microsoft brand. This is the third party wireless brand. Oh, uh, here's the, where the memory cards would go. And then here's the plug thingy. And here's the controller itself. As you can see, it's a lot different from the wired one. Here's the wired one. This one has more like different analog sticks. It's a Logitech. Still start and select black white button. Uh, triggers are a lot different here. Look at this trigger and look at this trigger. There's a big difference in those triggers. This one is more is more like just like this. And this one is more curved, as you can see. But it works the same. Just a little different analog stick. Sorry, hear my dad laugh in the background. He's a loud laugher. Uh, and then vibration on and off. This is a nice controller also. This is why I use more, because wireless. But I still prefer the this wired one. I don't know if it's a Halo one. It's clear. But you tell me. I think it's a, just a clear green one or a halo one. So.
Yes, and I also bought the Xbox 360, I mean, not 360, sorry, uh, the Xbox DVD remote, which is your standard remote, but it's required, you plug this thing, with the Xbox, you plug this thing right here, right in the first port, and then you can play, you can watch very awesome the movies like Step Brothers that is awesome movie you can watch movies like that but it's required to watch movies and yes it can watch burnt movies it cannot watch blu-ray or HD movies I don't think so uh, it just plays regular DVDs and the remotes nice it's just your standard remote but it works nice uh, I guess I'll show you some gameplay now uh, let me put a different game in. It says that it's damaged, but as you can see, it's got a nice disk drive. I like that. I like that. Uh, get the Doom 3 case. Put it in here. I want to show you uh, probably the granddaddy of all Xbox games. Halo. Put this sucker in. Trying to, trying to be careful. I just got this recently. Okay, since the TV is right below it, I can just do this. Because the Xbox is right under the TV. Move you guys back a little bit. Uh, let me plug in my wired controller. Alright, here we go. Let me back you guys up a little. Uh, guys to a good angle. I'm so happy I got Stevie, but that's not Bungie. I'm using the wired one. Here wait, where's my TV? And here's my TV remote, which has nothing to do with anything. And it's kind of funny playing this on the Sony TV, but whatever. Uh campaign. I do easy because I'm not good at all at Halo. Show you a little gameplay. Now this has awesome graphics. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but the Xbox has amazing graphics for its time, at least to me. Oh, uh, yeah. I love throwing grenades, obviously. I'm throwing all my grenades like a retard. Uh, the, the right trigger is shooting. Uh, you got your assault rifle. X is reloading. It's the same controls as the 360 game, pretty much. Uh, uh, white button's your flashlight, flashlight, uh, black button is the type of grenade you want to use, uh, d-pad, uh, moves around also, start, pauses, back, what does back do, I don't know, but yeah, it's Halo, and this looks amazing compared to, I think this has the best graphics of the like Xbox, PS2, and GameCube era. I think the Xbox had the best graphics. P uh, GameCube second and PS2 last. But yes, that is the Xbox review. Well, my Xbox review. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.